What's up guys, for this video I'm going to be talking about how to gold the riot shield. This is by far the worst one to gold. I don't know, maybe some people have fun doing this, but it was hell for me. Most of these camos that you're going to get are really passive ones like kill an enemy, kill an enemy while injured, from behind, using dead silence, a lot of these are just going to be ones you get. So I would recommend leveling this thing up. Because along the way, you're going to lock camos, but leveling up is going to be like a priority because getting three kills without dying can be really annoying and you'll get it a lot along the way. But once it's the last thing, it's going to be irritating. But just leveling up to the max is always the best thing to do. You would use your double XP tokens for weapons and that would just level it up faster. There's 45, 1 hour, 15 minute, and 30 minutes. Just do whatever one fits your time slots you have to play the game. The first category would be spray paint. These are all just to kill an enemy. These are pretty, you know, easy to do. You just kill an enemy. I, I don't know what to say. Next up is the Woodlands. Uh, to get kills while injured. A tip for doing this is to have a Thermite in your class. Whenever you spawn in or you're about to get a kill, you know someone's around the corner or something, throw the Thermite down near you. Get hit until you get to the gray screen, the, you know, little low health. And then go up to the enemy and hit him. And then you'll get the kill while injured. Next would be digital. Uh, well, using dead silence would help a lot for this. This one's kind of just luck. Or getting around the enemies and stuff. Next up is dragon. Just using dead silence to get kills. Yeah, that's it. Uh, there's no tips for that. It just says what you need to do. Then for splinter, these are to get kills while crouching. Just hold crouch and get kills. And then for topo, I hope that's how you say it, is to get kill two kills without dying. It used to be double kills, well now it's just get two kills without dying. Playing some kind of hardcore game mode to where they're lower health and it's just one hit to kill them. Hardcore shipment is one easy need a little is an easy one to do right now. Uh, it's out right now. Go ahead and do that and get these out of the way. Then for tiger, kill enemies while they're near smoke. This works for smoke grenades and gas grenades, whether it's yours, your teammates, or the enemies, as long as you're there, they count towards this. It's a pretty easy one to get. This one is to get buzz kills, ending an enemy's kill streak. This one's also kind of a passive one, just killing people and end up getting buzz kills. There's no tips for this because you don't know who's on a kill streak or not. Maybe you watch the kill feed, but that's not really going to help too much. And then this one, Reptile, is to get finishing moves on enemies. If you have a riot shield on your back and you're using a secondary, it still counts towards the riot shield for some reason. Tips for this one is just to find some campers and go up behind them with dead silence and execute them. Then for skulls, this one's kind of annoying. <laughs> but yeah, any hardcore game mode, shipment hardcore, pretty easy one to do. Because there's enemies everywhere, it's all pretty much close range. Just get kills without dying, you know? Play kind of safe, that's all you can say for this one. So this is my class setup. Just got the riot shield, knife, because you're not really going to use a secondary. You can pick whatever you want for this, I just chose a knife. Then for the perks, I chose EOD as my first one, because in shipment it's hell with all the explosives, C4s, Xemtex, grenades, rockets, all that stuff. And this just gives you a bit of resistance so you have a better chance of getting all those kills. Then I chose Hardline for my second one, because none of these are really going to help you too much, except maybe high alert, but you're probably going to die if there's a dude behind you, honestly. And then for my third would be Battle Hardened, you know, just to help from stuns, flashes, even the gases. Then I just chose a bunch of these kind of guys. You can switch between them all, but for I just chose Ghost. Maybe someone's looking at the mini map for you. I don't know. Then restock so you can get your thermites and your gas and smokes faster to regenerate them. Then double time because whenever you crouch, it increases your speed by 30%. Because people are always going to be trying to run away from you, and you can't always run to them because the animation's a bit broken. If you run, you're dead. And then I had thermite and a stun. Stun to just slow them down. Thermite to get yourself to low health for that one camo. A really important tip for the golding the ride shield will be your movement. Never sprint at it, dude. If you see a guy, do not sprint at him. You're dead. The second you sprint, you're gone, man. Always walk. And maybe you start shooting your feet, crouch. Just try to walk more because you're faster and he's going to be running away from you. Unless he charges you, but you're better off never sprinting. Like, <laughs> it sucks. You're going to get killed a lot if you ever sprint. Like I said before, shipment 24 7 is the best game mode to get everything done for the Riot Shield quick. While this is out, it's out right now, and it's been making returns, so even if it's not out later on, it will come back. I 
I think so. So that's what it's been doing. But you want to be in hardcore shipment. You don't want just normal shipment because it can take two hits to kill an enemy. You want to switch over to hardcore and then here there'll be a set as quick play filter. You want to click that so it's selected on hardcore. Then make sure you have hardcore shipment 24-7 selected and nothing else. Then you want to hit quick play, queue up for a match. When playing shipment, you're going to die a lot, but you're also going to get kills a lot. It kind of just speeds up the whole process of every other map. Yep, and well, that's the end of this video. Man, it's not too long. I'd rather not like kind of BS my way through it and make 10, 15 minute long videos. I mean, it doesn't take long to explain these things. People are making like 20 minute videos going over just Riot Shield or a pistol, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, if you like this video, if you found it helpful, give it a like. If you didn't, a dislike. If I missed anything out, go ahead and say it in the comments. And, well, what's your favorite food? Leave that also in the comments. Yeah. And have a good day. Peace.